Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Kai and today we are going to show you how you can use a Premiere Pro and Photoshop to create this clone freeze frame effect in your videos. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're jumping off straight away into Premiere Pro and I'm going to import some Pexels footage that I found of this ballerina and I'm going to go and dump it into my project panel and then I'm going to go to just a new sequence from clip and as you can see I've got my ballerina dancing across the screen now there are a few prerequisites that I would recommend that you do when creating your clone video and the first thing is to have it on a tripod now this shot you will notice moves ever so slightly up and down so it's not entirely shot on a tripod i think this is someone with a very steady hand but there is movement there so that's going to mess up our effects slightly but i think we can just about get away with it and also if possible shoot at a higher frame rate so we don't have this terrible motion blur so anywhere between 60 and 120 frames per second if possible but i think this is possible to create that effect and that's what we're going to do now i want to have maybe three or four different variations frozen in time and I think a good starting point is maybe this shot here. And what I want to ensure is that she doesn't overlap her clone. So as you can see, I'm going to measure it to about there on the screen. I definitely want that shot. So I can have a shot here and a shot here. And basically all I'm doing is pulling out rulers from the side here to give me an idea of where I want my clones to be. So maybe that shot there is where I can start off. So from there, I can take a photo by selecting export frame or hitting control shift E. And what I want to do is change my format to PNG. And I've already got my location set up so I know where my picture is going to be saved. And I want to import this photo into the project and hit OK. And here it is. And I'll drag that out into the project and then I will drag in the side of the photo to where the dancer comes in. So I've kept the current time indicator on the exact frame where she hits this picture and then the picture will disappear. But obviously, this is a frozen frame, so I need to remove the background. Now, in order to do this, I can right click on the picture and then go to edit in Adobe Photoshop, which is what we're going to do here. And in Photoshop, what we can do is go to window and select properties. This will bring up a quick actions menu and we can actually remove the background by selecting remove background. And as you can see, Photoshop has done a pretty good job of selecting my dancer and her clothes. And we can make some additional adjustments if we want to. Maybe we might want to delete part of that dress so we can just select the photo, come over here to our eraser tool, and maybe just erase parts of that. And you can go and tidy up any part of the image that you want at this point in time. But what I want to do now is file export that as a PNG. So it will bring it up. And here is my still. And I'm just going to overwrite that and replace it. Now, if I come back into Premiere Pro, what I will see is my dancer jumps into their clone. And then the clone disappears because we've cut it off at that section. And all I need to do is repeat this and I want a frozen clone in this exact position here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to select these options. They're all pre-selected for me because of my previous image. I'm going to say, okay, it's imported here. And then I can drag this out onto the timeline here, right click on it, edit it in Photoshop. It opens it directly in Photoshop. Again, remove the background. And for the most part, again, we've got an okay-ish picture. I can select the photo and maybe go again to my eraser tool and just erase some of these bits to tidy it up. File, export as a PNG, overwrite my next still and save it. Come back into Premiere and then again as I move back in time and what I didn't do is pull this back to the right spot. So now quick correction, we will see in she comes and the final picture i guess can be something like this as you can see it's quite blurry because the frame rate is not very high so again we can take a photo go okay take our photo drag it into the timeline and then remember to drag it to the point of the blue line where the dancer will meet right click on it go to edit in photoshop 
Photoshop opens it, go to remove background and again, click on the photo and use the eraser tool to rub out any strange artifacting parts. You can spend more time refining this if you want in Photoshop. And then I want to export it as a PNG, replace my original file, save, replace it back into Premiere. And now we have something like this. So that was a quick breakdown of how you can add in freeze frame clone effects into your videos. Really cool effect that you might want to use for your TikTok or social media videos to really improve or enhance your content. And this is a great place to mention that if you haven't done so already, go and add yourself to the Kai Creative Facebook and Instagram accounts to stay up to date with all of our creative happenings. So I hope you found today's video useful. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the little bell for notifications. As I said in the last few videos, you've probably noticed as well, we are creating a library of Premiere Pro, Photoshop and After Effects videos to help you take your photo and video creations to the next level, but also we have a plethora that's a great word we have a plethora of camera reviews coming your way in 2022 so stay tuned for those as well so that's it for me today guys thank you so much for watching all i've got left to say is stay creative stay safe imagine implement and inspire and i will catch you next time on kai creative